first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black, trimmed with white. He weighs 249 pounds. He brings a perfect professional record into the ring. 18 consecutive victories without a loss. 16 by knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, from Granada Hills, California, here is the undefeated Mount Whitaker. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing gray with black and weighing 240 pounds. An outstanding professional record. 38 victories, including 32 by knockout, with only two losses. Ladies and gentlemen, here from Greenwood Lake in New York, here is Lou Severis. All right, guys, we're giving your instructions at the weigh-in. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and above all, respect the bell. Touch gloves, touch them up. Let's go. Two big guys. The bigger they are, the bigger they hit, the harder they Ready fall. Up. No less an authority than Gil Clancy believes that Whitaker, at this stage of his career, may be a better fighter than the much heralded heavyweight Michael Grant, regarded by many experts in the sport as the number three heavyweight right now behind Lewis and Holyfield. He wonders, does Clancy, why Savarese took this bout. But of course, as you point out, George, Savarese has by far more experience against tough opponents than Whitaker. And he has the luxury this time, probably first time in his career, to be able to bob and weave. He normally has to look down, but now he can just bob and weave, do what boxers do best. Stay out of harm's way. Throw a punch, duck and dodge, and jab in retaliation. I've often wondered why a big guy boxes. It wasn't invented to, for big guys to protect themselves. Boxing was invented for the smaller guys. So he should be attacking Lou Severus. Whitaker backing up and allowing Savarees to follow him around the ring. As round one develops, and you see Savarees firing combinations. He's become a better combination puncher in the past few years. Whitaker's job is to step forward, punish you with the left jab because you have the reach, and wait for big right hand. Savarees should bob and weave before he just wade in. And after you land your shots, move to the side out of the power of Mount Whitaker. Savarese landing it, chopping right inside there. It was Whitaker who moved to his side to create more room for his long jab. Whitaker trying a right-hand lead. Look at the size and the niftiness of these two athletes. The heavyweight division is getting bigger and bigger, George. Better fighters will always be the ones around six foot, six foot two. And that's where it's perfect. It's like in the basketball, the guards, the one who touched the ball and dribble will always be the smaller guy. Yeah, but there's also been six foot six and six foot nine inch guards. That's yeah, phenomenal. And we're seeing these better it's athletes. It's phenomenon, you know, like Magic sure, Johnson. Sure. But these guys should uh Savarees, for the first time, is in a boxer's position. He can bomb, counter punch, and he should be doing so. Savarese appears to want to work to the body and chop Mount Whitaker down. You can see Lou concentrating to the body with his combinations throughout this first round. Well, I can tell you, you start beating on a guy with a lot of power like that, then you start getting drained, too. You want to keep your hand on him, touching him, but don't use all your power up. Whitaker showing you that he can be nipped inside, lands a nice uppercut to snap Savarese's head back. Uh, off of a nice combination as well. Now Savarese chopping down with the right hand. Both fighters had their moments in an entertaining round one. You get a little away, Suzette. Take your time. Okay. Keep the, on, put on the brush. Keep the brush on him with the dab. Start hitting him with the face with the dab. If you can't reach his face, hit him right there. Okay. Right here. Right there. Right there. Right you right get back. a good shot in with that right hand. See? Okay. You're rushing his... You need to stay relaxed, just like you are. Very good. That left uppercut's going to find a home. Keep your left hand working. Hooks and jabs. Okay. 
Now that right hand's going to find a home pretty soon. All right, you caught him over there in the corner a little bit. He felt your power. Now, just keep that good movement up. You're really boxing nice. Doesn't mean you have to move all over the ring, but just keep your little side steps going. Where's some grease? Right there. Here's a little combination inside by Whitaker to show you that he is unusual for a big man to be able to do this inside. You heard Joe Goose and his trainer saying, throw the uppercut, it will find a home. And we told you these are exceptionally busy heavyweights. They threw 140 punches between them in round one. 80 attempted blows by Whitaker, 60 by Savarese. That's a very high work rate for heavyweights. What kind of punching power does Lou Savarese have, George? Well, it, he's not going to be noted for his power, but he can get some effective punches in enough to make your other guy kind of afraid of him. And you don't want to let a big guy like Whitaker sit back and say, oh, I've tasted all you have. Well, that, yeah. there was that uppercut, and it, it almost found a home. It just sort of clipped Savarese on the way in. using his jab to move Savarese back and create room for him to go back to the center of the ring. You want to take away a guy like Whitaker's confidence, do things that he just doesn't like. What things? You got to touch him on his shoulder, touch him in his chest, touch him on top, and bring your hands right back into position. Don't look for power. Forget about power. That will come later on. trying to work to the body and then covering up as Savarese goes to his body. Again, Whitaker lands the right hand uppercut. And Savarese continues to fire to the ribcage as he traps Whitaker in the corner. And Whitaker is doing exactly what Savarese should be doing. He's touching him at all times. May not be hard shots, but he's keeping some punch on him. And look at how fluidly the big man fires his combinations, George. Left, right, from all angles. He really has some boxing skill. Yeah, and he's not using power, and I like that in a big man. I don't like the idea that he's moving away like that. He just waste time. Chopping right hand lands for Savarese. Whitaker again lands that nifty, nifty, I should say, right uppercut inside. He should be taking advantage of his size. It's a shame with small guys like Tyson and Holyfield are the ones who attack him. <laughs> the big guy should be attacking. Savarese landing his right cross in there, and Whitaker shaking his head as if to say, I shouldn't let him land that. If Savarese is going to follow him around, you got to touch him. You just can't just follow him around. Keep your hand out there and just put your hand on top of his gloves or something. Just keep touching. Certainly, Savarese is well-schooled enough to know how to cut off the ring, but he's not cutting off the ring against Whitaker. He's just following him around. You try to get too close to him with the right hand. He steps right out. He hit you with uppercuts when you lay in there. He hit you with uppercuts. He hit you with about four uppercuts. Lay in. Get out of it. Get out of it. Fire back after that. Get out. Fire. Let's go. You waiting on this guy. You waiting on him. Get the job out. Get it. Boom. Right hand. Let's go. Let's go. Hurt him over in the corner. Got him with some nice uppercuts. Now look, he's looking on the inside to shoot a little short one over the top. Keep that left hand up when you're working your uppercuts, okay? Very, very nice. You don't have to move all that much. Step, step, step. Just be aware of his right hand. Here we see Whitaker, who looks unusually comfortable for a relatively inexperienced fighter, standing on the ropes. Hi, right, Joe. Confident that he can come up with those little uppercuts. You know, when he walked into the room yesterday, when you see him, he doesn't create the kind of picture you expect from a massive man. There's a kind of soft-spokenness about him, and he doesn't exude a lot of testosterone, George. Because he doesn't believe cool that he's guy. a big, tough guy. Some guys just don't believe they look at themselves as small guys. Severi should understand that and keep some power. Punches on him. Whitaker threw 86 punches in the second round to go with 80 in the first round. 
And because he's not trying to put power on every punch, he can keep punching fluidly with a minimum of effort. He's doing an excellent job of just touching here and there. Good left hook by Savarese, and he follows up with a combination to the body. Whitaker again uses that right uppercut to help create space and get him out of the corner. Yeah. Savarese should throw one punch after another and forget about power because when you throw power punches, you must stop. Well, you don't want to be able to stop because this guy's going to hit you. Savarese has a mouse under his left eye and the beginnings of a blood spot there. Right cross lands for Savarese, left hook to the body. Whitaker covers up and then again uses his carefully thrown punch assortment to get him out of the corner. Then he steps back into the corner. And that's a sign of his inexperience as he steps back into the corner himself without making uh, Savory force him in there. He's doing a, Whitaker's doing a good job of tip, tap, 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 tap. This is what Savory should have been doing when he had all of his strength. Forget about the power punches. This guy does not believe you can knock him out, so don't, don't try. Just tap him and tap him and tap him. Good right hand by Savory that time. Yeah, Lou Savory gets more mustard on the right hand now. Then was the case a couple of years ago when he fought against you, George. Yeah, look at big as back heels this time. This guy's been doing some exercise, Savarese. Well, he says that his loss to David Eisen convinced him that he needed to change his training methods. He went to more strength training, more carefully concentrated workouts. He used to feel as though he wasn't getting the job, job done unless he was totally exhausted at the end of the workout. Now he, he realizes that isn't necessarily the best way to go. It would be a good idea for Savarese now to hit to the body and step back and make the bigger man use some of his reserves. You don't want the big man having power and energy left in the left, left around. Whitaker pawing a little bit with the jab now. His punches seem to have slowed down a bit in round three. Now he fires a combination with authority, but Savarese comes right back and rakes Whitaker both to the body and to the chin. Whitaker missing with the right uppercut that time, but now he lands the left hook in the retaliation. You're making the fight tough. You're making this fight tough. See, you're making this fight tough. He ain't got no reason to be this tough. See, you're in that lane, you throw one or two punches, and you stop. You smother yourself. Yeah, yeah you smother yourself. You get on top of the guy, you get, you can't do nothing. You get back. Get back. Not yet. You can see which way this guy is going. And he's too early with the Let's go now. You the jab. Now, you got the guy don't want to fight no more. And you made him hang in there. Come on, that's right. You your jab. You Okay, come here. Now, here's what I need from you. I need you to start turning him around, putting some pressure on him. If you're going to back up, you're backing up too much. He's got to walk in the punch. He's got to be quick with your hands. Do you hear me? Yes. All right. Interesting fight to score so far. It would certainly appear that Savarese is the more selective puncher and is landing at a higher rate. Whitaker is throwing more punches. And let's see how Harold Letterman has it through three. Chip, 29, 28. Two rounds to one, Lou Savarese. I gave him rounds one and three, Jim. I gave the second round to Whitaker because he was busier. But, Jim, I'll tell you something. Judges are notorious for not seeing the body punches. And certainly, the Savarese attack to this point is body punch. Jim, he's doing more damage in the body than anything else. This is going to be an interesting decision, just like you said. I have it two to one for Whitaker. And Savarese should be going to the body and making sure that he takes some of the power out of this big giant. Well, Harold said an interesting thing, George. He said that judges are notorious for not seeing body punches. Throughout your career, were you conscious of that? And did you worry when you attacked to the body that judges wouldn't give you credit? I never worried about the judges. I wanted to make certain that I go to the body to take the power if the fight goes beyond five or six rounds, that my opponent has no more energy. That's all I was concerned about. And that's what Lou should be concerned about. Punch, punch, step, step. Lou is not moving his feet. If you're going to go forward, move left or right. Move your feet. Whitaker is doing exactly what his corner told him to do. You step up. You put a little pressure on him. And he's doing it. Let him out, Lance. Let him out. And you 
heard Al Bolden in Savory's corner saying, you're making it tough on yourself. You're allowing him to get comfortable in there. And certainly Whitaker does look comfortable fighting in close quarters against Savarese. You want a big guy like that to make sure he throws a lot of punches so he's sucking in, looking for oxygen himself. You don't want him just sitting there relaxed like that. Step back, hit him and step back, make him come to you. Chopping right hand by Savarese. He doubled up on it, landed them both right on the temple. Good effective combination that time. You got to get right back on him. Don't let him think, hey, that didn't hurt. Savarese with a reaching left hook. Whitaker lands the jab. But Whitaker not using his jab enough to back Savarese off. And now Lou getting more effective as he steps forward and dictates the action. As soon as he loses, throws two or three punches, he stops the action. You want to take the power off and throw six punches. Let him out, Louis. Step, 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 step. Winging right hand, partially landed by Whitaker. Straight right hand lands as well. Interesting heavyweight bout. While David Reed warms up in the dressing room and waits for his chance to join Olympic teammates Fernando Vargas and Floyd Mayweather Jr. among the ranks of world title holders in the sport. Reed looking for a title at 154 pounds, the same weight class in which Vargas has already won a championship by knocking out Yori Boy Campos. First and punch him more. You gotta, you gotta hurt this guy, man. You're not gonna do it one punch at a time, laying on the ropes. Do you hear me? Yeah. All right. Now look, Lance. You gotta get aggressive, pushing back. Water, please. Yes, right here. You gotta start getting that uppercut going. That right uppercut, left uppercut going, Lance. Okay. Here's Savarese starting to impose himself more. Two good, solid right hands as Whitaker started to try to apply pressure. Savory seemed more comfortable, George, with Whitaker coming at him. Yeah, when you're not touching him at all times, make him come to you. you know, when you're throwing a lot of shots like that and you're that heavy, you're going to be tired, so you don't want to rest by looking. Make him come forward. And as the number proof of what George is saying in that fourth round for the first time in the bout, Lance Whitaker's punch count dropped measurably. By CompuBox numbers, after throwing more than 80 punches in each of the first three rounds, he threw only 65 in the fourth. That made it possible for Savarese to land half the punches he attempted. That uh, Whitaker's got, he has good eyes. He throws one shot, he looks at what he's doing, he slaps it in there, doesn't ball his fist up and put any power, he just slaps him in there. I love the way he throws the uppercut. Good left jab by Sabarese. That's what you want to do. Keep touching this guy. Keep touching him. It's, you're safe as long as you got something on him at all times. And Sabarese keeps working to the body. Try to sap his man as the fight goes on. If only Whitaker could just act like a big man, this fight wouldn't have to go round after round like that. You're big, be big. You're strong, be strong. But it's amazing how many super tall heavyweights you see, some of them with big, strong bodies as well, who don't punch with authority. Akinwande is not a particularly hard puncher. There was a guy named Mike White, almost seven feet tall, who was a relatively light puncher for a heavyweight. But all you gotta do is wanna be big and take charge. Savarese is fighting. Savarese is starting to take charge with accurate combination punching. For the first time, Savarese was able to bob underneath uh, one of Whitaker's uh, left jabs. You do that with an inexperienced fighter and you get him kind of scared to throw the jab. Step, step, Lance, step, hands up, guys. trying to 
couldn't load a big right cross. Step, step, hands up, hands up. Just missed. Whitaker finding it harder and harder to throw combinations. That's another sign of fatigue. Early in the bout, he was putting three, four, five punches together. Now, as often as not, it's one punch at a time. You know another thing? He's heavy, though. When Savarese land three or four punches, stalled on his back. Out. That can take a lot out of you. So what you're saying is that both fighters are going to tire down the stretch of the fight. And now there's blood over the left eye of Lance Whitaker. Here, get this. Sit down. Now you begin to fight a little bit now. Now you're getting to take it over. You're taking this fight over, Chomp. That might be a dangerous cut. Joe Goosen does his own cut work. Trainer from Mount Whitaker is Joe Goosen. He also does the cut work. It was a lawful shot. Okay, give me some grief. Same thing's open now. Did you hear me? And you might have heard referee Steve Smoker say it was a lawful shot. This fight will be stopped. Did you hear me? Yeah. some water? You hurt that eye. You got that eye on Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Don't bring home the bay too much. Keep them hands up now. Okay? Let's go to work. Go to work. So you see the mouse under the left eye of Savaris. That hasn't been a problem for him. And you heard Joe Goosen telling his fighter, Mount Whitaker, that the, the cut over his left eye could conceivably be a problem. Obviously, Goosen wants Mount Whitaker to go out and be a little more aggressive than he's been so far. Now, this is when experience comes in right now. Savaris is in, ter in territory that he's, he's acquainted with. But Whitaker lands a right that stuns Savaris and follows it with a left. And Savarese wobbles back into the ropes as Whitaker tries to attack. You never want to lose Freak, don't punch, don't your punch. strategy step, step, step. by going after a cut. A guy's cut, that's just a cut. Savarese's uppercut landed Freak, but didn't punch, phase Whitaker. And Whitaker with a sudden burst of energy in round six. Now Savarese backs him up with combination punches. Well, Whitaker is going totally wild now. Uh, Whitaker appears to be in a territory he's never been before. I doubt that he's ever had this kind of an opponent in front of him while his eye was spilling blood. And it's a desperate time, and let's see how he reacts to it, George. Well, this is where Savarese's vast edge and experience ought to come to the fore. That's what you want to do. You want to stand right there in the pocket, jab him, throw right hands, don't move away and give him any more courage, and Whitaker can fold. Whitaker's job now is to just start throwing every piece of power you have in your body. When you're powerful, anything can happen. Whitaker trying to polax Savarese Freak, with the step, looping step, right step, hand. Step, step. Lou partially blocking it with the glove as he you went in. That one landed. That one landed. That's power. And Savarese is in trouble for the second time in the round. Uppercut lands inside. That's what you want to do if you're a big man, throw power. Boxing is for the little guys. Fight. in big trouble now. Trying to move in for the kill. Savary's not throwing back. And down goes Savary's. Takes a knee trying to stop the assault. Well, we asked George, how is he going to respond to this crisis? And we just saw with desperation because of the cut over his eye and landing non-stop against Savarese. Savarese's mistake is to try to fight him back. Move, hold, move, hold. Well, he got a hold of the right arm there. That should help. But Whitaker, that's his job. You're big, don't box, fight. Savarese landed another punch and fires back just enough to keep Smoker from stopping the fight. Back 
Okay, I'm going to massage the back of his neck. Come on. Very Keep nice, baby. Me. You'll knock him out this round. Now you did what I told you to do. The big man acting like a big man, hurt, bleeding, in jeopardy, opening up. And then you'll see Savarese, just from the accumulation of blows, decide to take a knee as Jim described it. Smart move on his part. It helped him survive the round. Let's see if he has enough left to survive this. And let's see if Whitaker has anything left after having thrown 122 punches, 112 of them power shots in the preceding round. I never heard of a heavyweight throwing that many punches. Certainly not a six foot eight inch heavyweight who weighs 250 pounds. Lou Savarese has no business trying to exchange punches with this big guy. Well, and I heard Tommy Gallagher saying, hold him, hold him. Back on your jab, forget about that. Make him respect you, but keep jabbing and moving. A big guy like that starts coming forward, he hasn't got the endurance. Savarese wanted to tell his corner he wasn't okay. Then he spotted the doctor out of the corner of his eye and said, I'm fine. That shows you he had something still on the ball. You see this big guy, Whitaker, everything he lands, even if he has no evil intentions, they hurt. Yep. So don't allow him to touch you with anything. Jab him and keep moving to his left and to his right. Every time he gets ready to do something, move left or right. Savarese may not have any legs under him, George. Well, he, he can do good, but you don't want to mix it up. This big boy is just like waiting for a drink of water, a little energy, and he's going to hit you. And after that last round, both of them seem to need a blow here. Meanwhile, Joe Goosen, in two between rounds periods, has stopped the bleeding above Whitaker's left eye. Good job out of corner. Good job. Savarese's experience should tell him, jab, go down to the body, make this guy start trying to protect his body. Jab, jab to the body, and then come on top with a straight right hand. It, it seems almost that Whitaker was the one who took all the punishment in the last round because he suddenly has come to a stop hands up, hands from throwing all those punches. Yeah, but he's so heavy that and heavy-handed that even a stop at, at this big guy hurts you. Right now, Whitaker leans all over Savarese on the ropes. And though Savarese doesn't have to punch, he has to deal with the big man leading on. And the uppercut lands for Savarese. Savarese still falls into these exchanges, though. You want to jab, jab, and step around and make him look for you. But he's, he's showing the same kind of courage he showed when he fought you, George. Coming back from that last round where he barely made it out, barely made it back to his corner, he is, he's winning this round up to this point. Well, you want courage, but you want a little intelligence, too. Sometimes intelligence, it is courage. Fascinating fight on the scorecards. Whitaker almost certainly got a two-point round in the last round. Savarese clearly oh, won that one. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Get that time, Luke. Get that time and you will. Come on, that's hard. Come on, baby. Come on, you're the best. What round is Seventh this? round. Come on, Louis. They, they, Seventh they round. They round. They round. They round, Louis. They coming. Lou, fine. If We're you fine. keep your hands out, don't let it as long as we did for you to dog me one round, I need it from you every round. Do you hear me? Eight's coming. Yeah. This is eight. Eight, nine, and ten. Okay? Take a deep breath. Come on. Through your nose. Let's go, Lance. You had him out that round. You got to put him out again. Do you hear me? You got to use both hands. You got to go forward on him, not backwards. Don't let him have that momentum coming, going forward. Do you hear me? Okay. Go backwards, baby. I mean, go forward. Joey, push him Joey, big rounds, big guy. Joey, Tommy. Let's go. Come on. Both corners working hard tonight. You heard Joe Goosen say, don't go backward. Go forward, Mount Whitaker. Harold, how do you have it through seven? Jim, very interesting. Five rounds to two. 67, 65, Lou Savarese. I'll tell you that 10-8 put Whitaker back in the fight, but then I, I think he blew the seventh round. 
when he got Savin Reese really hurt, he should have just go, gone out, won that seventh round, and got back in it. But Lou Savin Reese coming on again, landing the clean of harder shots, and Whitaker looks exhausted. Whitaker was exhausted then. Around. I think he's still exhausted now. After he threw 122 punches in the sixth round, he threw only 28 in the seventh round. And uh, Savary seizing the initiative again. How do you have it, Larry? I have it four rounds to three for Savary, even on points because of the knockdown. Whitaker just sucks it up a couple of more times and fight. He can end this fight just as well. You just got to suck it up and fight. Some guys think that, hey, this, there's a lot of money in boxing, but there's a lot of fighting in boxing. And every time you just got to fight. You just got to fight. Every time you see Savarese's head bob up from one of these exchanges, recognize that Whitaker is still throwing that uppercut here here. and landing it. And the weight of that big man leaning on you, that takes a lot out of you. And when you push him off you, it's just like you've gone three rounds already of sparring. But Whitaker remains held at bay by the sharper, quicker punching of Savarese, just as in round seven. Savarese has got to understand he doesn't have any power now. Just mount up an attack of light, light, quick shots. And you can do as much damage. Whitaker again shows his capacity for infighting, landing a sharp left and right. Savarese gets in a left hook. Looks like they're gonna fight the last three rounds shoulder to shoulder if it goes the distance. It benefits, benefits Whitaker because he's sooner or later is gonna get a second win. He doesn't know he has it inside him. But that, if you've done road work, you're gonna get a second win. When Whitaker stands at a distance and punches, you can see the exhaustion in his lazy winging blows. When he steps inside, he seems to have more energy. This bout is scheduled for 10, not 12. 10 rounds. Good right hand by Savarese. Straight right hand. Step out, step out, hands up, hands up. Another good combination here, and Savarese will have appeared to win yet another round. Thing is, he just can't afford to be hit by this big giant. Whitaker's got to go toe to toe and earn his living now. Good left hook landed by Lance Mount Whitaker to close the round. We showed you David Reed warming up earlier. There's the opponent, Laurent Boudouani, defending his 154-pound world championship tonight against Reed. Once again, we remind you, Man, come on, Reed, go. the Olympic gold medalist. We got to have these other two rounds big. I don't tell me he's fighting you when you let him lay on you. Okay? Look at me. I'm going to cut the stuff around. Right. Let's get recovered. Do that thing. Breathe. 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 Fire. Come on. Breathe. Come on. Breathe. All right. You're back. Come on. Let's get this round. Stay on the stool till the end. Hands. Even if it means standing up to him, baby. You've got chin tucked and wing. You got to wing. You got to wing. You got to let your big arms fly. Do you hear me? Yeah. All right. Put all your body in there. Be relaxed while you're doing it, but you got to work. Okay. You got to knock him out. What do you got to do to win this fight? Right. Come on. You got to knock him out. Well, that's interesting. Keep the jab out there. Keep the jab out there. Right hand. Joe Goosen insisting to his fighter that he must have a knockout to win the fight. And that's what you want to tell him. Don't get out there and think you're going to win this thing this far away from home on points. Go for it. You got the power. You got the road work. Believe in yourself. That was a right hand that truly hurt. Savary should just move his feet a bit more. Don't just... Savary's suddenly looking by far the fresher of the two fighters as they begin the next to last round. Good uppercut for Savary's. Straight right hand lands again. The longer this fight goes on, the more it seems as if Whitaker just completely spent himself in that 112 punch round. It's kind of a scary thing to be in territory like this with an experienced fighter. So he may have a fear after the fifth round and try to save himself, and that causes the problem. He has some li a little bit left in that tank. Hands up, hands up. There's talk of matching the winner of this fight with 
brilliant prospect, Michael Grant. I shouldn't call him a prospect. He's a contender now. Savarys wins the fight over the 6'8", 249-pound Whitaker. And they say to him, well, next up, 6'7", 250-pound Michael Grant. <laughs> he may say, can I fight a welterweight, please? All right, guys, have a little bit to go. Keep it clean. Whitaker's winding up and sucking in for a little more. One more attack. And another good sharp right hand by Savarys. Hey, don't punch, don't punch. Step, step, step. Hands up, hands up. Both of these guys will sleep very well tonight. Hey, come here. One of those 10 round fights that's going to feel like 20. Savarys continuously goes to the body. Good experience, warrior. Hey, don't punch, don't punch. Step, step, step. More combination punching from Savarys. Sharper punches from Savarese. Ever since that huge sixth round in which Whitaker knocked him down and almost knocked him out. Savarese is smart enough now when all of this punching goes on, he gets closer and closer. That's what you want to do to a mountain in the dark. Get close to it. Stay close to it. This big guy needs room. Stay close. Whitaker is brave. You would think an inexperienced fighter like that would fold, but he hasn't folded. But again, it's a round defined by sharper, more accurate punching from Savarese. And we got three minutes to go. No, I need three minutes. Wait a minute. Sit down. Three minutes, sir. Three minutes, brother. Three minutes. Right here, we need three more minutes. Give, you, you guys, give me this three minutes. See? Come on, open up. Only three. three minutes. You touch him, you time him when you come in with that right hand. Yeah. Him in the center. Lance, Put your Lance arms I'm down. telling Put you, it's a loser or a winner if you don't knock him out. Put your arms down. Do you understand me? Yeah. Do you understand me? Can you do it? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Okay, if you're telling me that, I believe you, baby. That means you better get your ass in here. But Work your ball. You but do. don't get jealous. Don't, don't get, get jealous. jealous. Don't get jealous. Man. Man. Hey, don't lean in. Come on. Yeah. Okay, right, round. one more of those rounds. One more. One more. Can you do it for me? Yeah. I know you can. Savarys has come back from that devastating round to be able to control Mount Whitaker. The round of what has been an interesting and rousing heavyweight battle. Whitaker in the black trunks, Lou Savarese in the gray. Both men trying to move up the heavyweight food chain and get into position to fight one of the big three. Holyfield, Lewis, Grant. You see Savarese has his hand close together when he's closed. And that Whitaker is launching one more attack. And for the second consecutive intermission, you heard Joe Goosen telling his fighter in no uncertain terms, Lance, you got to knock him out. You can watch Lance right eye. He's got one more little sneak attack in there. Good right hand by Savarese. Savarys has found a wellspring of energy in the last couple of rounds and is able to counter Whitaker's best shots now. But Al Bolden has been a very good corner man tonight. Very good. Savarys shares a gym and a physical trainer with Evander Holyfield in Houston. And if he pulls through this, he may have a good reason for doing that. But his manager said earlier, if you're gonna win boxing matches, it's about fighting. Tonight, he had to fight. All of the weight lifting in the world can't save you. You gotta fight. And another big punch landed for Whitaker. Savarese momentarily stunned. Better hold on, Savarese. Here Whitaker. comes the mountain. And the mountain means business. Why is he holding on to the ropes? He doesn't want to keep that target in front of him. He's got, he has a few little tricks up his sleeve. I just think he's tired. Amen to that, too. Now Savarese lands a bone on the right hand. Let him out, let him and that out, momentarily out. stanches the flow. Good oh, right hand by Whitaker. Break, 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 
where he's pounding to the body. You know trying what, to take what the steam is. out of what's left of Whitaker. You know what that is to be hitting a guy with everything you have, and he's so big and he's still there? That's got to be frustrating. Ton of respect for both of these guys, yeah, George. We got two stars tonight. Absolutely. This fight. Mount Whitaker. That's it, you're losing. This fight was rough trade. First time Savarisa spin his guy tonight. And one of the lands Whitaker learned in his first 18 professional fights. You have the suspicion that he has doubled that storehouse of knowledge tonight. He will be back, and let me tell you, once he now that he knows he can do this distance thing, he's going to be dangerous. No, no, no! They it's go over, ten. It'll go it's to the over, scorecards. <laughs> Lou kind of half-heartedly throws up the gloves in a victory salute to himself, and you get the impression that's as much energy as he's got. Oh, I know how they feel. Yeah, you've been through a couple of wars, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, you want to go on, home on. and rest. Whitaker landed one good shot in there. It was the best he had. Stopped him cold there in his tracks, but Savarese keeps coming. How'd you score Savarese Whitaker? Very close, Jim. 95, 94, six rounds to four, Lou Savarese. I think that Matt Whitaker pulled out the eighth and the tenth, but Savarese pulled out the ninth. I thought he clearly won six rounds. I think he deserves this fight. Bit of a controversy. Commissioner Larry has it sent someone over to our table to ask us if we got, you know, a look at the uh, at the count in uh, round six when, you know, it looked like Lou Savarese was down for a long time. I didn't hear the count, Jim. I'll be very honest with you. But he was in Savarese's face, and I felt that Savarese saw Smoga counting and definitely got up at nine. I mean, there was no question that Lou Savarese heard the count. So uh, I saw Dan Goosen at the end of the sixth round got up, and he was screaming at referee Smoga between round six and seven, which really isn't right, but that's what they were yelling about. Well, I'm in sync with you. I think Savarese had his eye on uh, Smoga the all, all the uh, way, and uh, Rose I believe at the referee did a fine job. Okay. Let's take another look at the knockdown in round six. And remember, this came from an accumulation of blows. Savarese had been batted around the ring for a full 30 to 45 seconds at this point and finally just went down to give himself a chance to recover from all of the power punches that Whitaker was raining on him. It may be a moot point, but it is something that will be dwelled on after this fight if Whitaker loses, whether indeed Savarese made it up. Here's Michael Buffer. We go to the Budweiser scorecards. Al DeVito scores the belt, 95-94. He has it for Whitaker. Alan Rubenstein scores the belt, 97-93. He scores it for Savarese. And Paul Venti scores the belt 95-93 to the winner on a split decision. Lou Savary. been ironic of course if Whitaker had gotten the decision after his trainer so concertedly told him down the stretch of the fight that he needed a knockout to win final punch stat numbers from CompuBox showing you that Whitaker threw far more punches now remember he threw 122 of them in one round the sixth threw more than 80 in each of the first three rounds Savory's more selective landed at a higher rate generally the sharper puncher throughout the bout although it was Whitaker who came closest to getting a knockout Still to come tonight, David Reed fighting for a world championship at 154 pounds against veteran French titleist Laurent Boudouani. And as we wait to bring the fighters into the ring for that one, let's look ahead now to the big heavyweight unification battle next week in Madison Square Garden between Evander Holyfield and Lennox Lewis.